Ted's team was so excited to partner with Parsons for this class. As a 100-year-old brand that's really founded in design and design talent, we were really inspired to work with the next generation of design talent. It's been really exciting to watch the amazing work of the students and, and just how innovative and passionate they can be about sustainability and the future of kind of repurposing things already in, in production to create a whole new perspective on product and fashion and create these amazing new artifacts and garments. Hi, my name is Jane Francis. I'm the Associate Director of the BFA Fashion Design Program here at Parsons and the Pathway Leader for Fashion Products. Kids have developed a circular system of repurposing used product. The footwear is returned to Keds and is deconstructed, washed, and students have been able to then repurpose the used components and upcycle them into new, exciting fashion product outcomes. Our students have been working throughout this semester on repurposing the used kids and really considering sustainable imperatives within their work. We think it's incredibly important that our students, as designers of the future, really think about the impact that their designs are going to have on the planet. This we focus more on uh, deconstructing the uh, cat's crumbles and mixing them into bioplastics. So it's a more sustainable approach and customers when they use the product they can biodegrade the product after they use them. It's a skirt for uh, babies. I used a lot of colorful crumbles. This is waterproof and durable. Hi, my name is Stone Hubbard and I am the faculty for Creative Technical Studio 2. When we approach the project, I ask the students uh, to think about connections, like connections in life, connections in materials. How would they connect the separated uppers to turn into a fashion product? And how would they use the outsoles to make other fashion products? So our main goal of the project was about connections. So the students used a various techniques from hand stitching to different machine stitching techniques or adhesives to connect the products. They used O-rings, D-rings, shoe strings. The main goal was 75% of the materials that they used had to come from the KEDS components. We are super powered KEDS. We're bringing the heat to fashion with our fire inspired KEDS products. We're focusing a lot on technology in our project, so we're going to be doing a lot of 3D modeling of our prototypes. And I think this is a good opportunity for us to draw attention to fire safety. I'm taking inspiration from children's bibs. And I'm making these bibs for adults. Hi, my name is Mary Genevieve Sear. I am the director of the BFA Fashion Design Program. It's been absolutely a pleasure to actually work with the KEDS team. Part of the wonderful partnership that we have with KEDS in the BFA Fashion Design Program, we're very grateful for the KEDS Scholarship, who's going to be an incredible support to our BFA Fashion Design students, especially in the fashion product pathway. I think what's been so successful about this course is we really encourage the students to utilize the KEDS components in new ways. The KEDS components were very disjointed in a way, um, and they really had to reflect on their identities. For weeks on, they went straight into the making process, utilizing these materials in new ways. It's really been such a great opportunity to see all the work that the students have created, so I'm really grateful to the KEDS team, the BFA team, and most, uh, most importantly, my students for all the hard work that they put into this course.
That's the best part. You should get a, a, 